What's going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Boating Adventures. Today we're going to talk about hitches. I have a 2005 Chevy Silverado 2500 Duramax and it has the factory installed hitch. This hitch is rated for 7500 uh, without weight distribution and I tow mostly um, boats and there's no weight distribution that I ever use on a, on the boat trailer. The actual hitch here that's inserted to a receiver is only rated for 5,000 pounds. And then the ball is, is rated for less than that. We're going to be pulling a 25 Carolina Classic. And on the trailer, it's approximated to be about 15,000 pounds. I haven't put it on the scales yet, uh, but we'll do that soon. Obviously, the factory installed hitch of 7,500 is not going to be able to pull the, uh, the Carolina Classic. Why did Chevy install a 7,500 pound receiver hitch if it's capable of pulling 18,000 pounds or more? That's beyond me. So today, we're going to remove the old hitch and we're going to install a bigger hitch to put the ball on and that's what we're going to be talking about today. To upgrade the uh, hitch, the receiving hitch, I went with a, a Kurt commercial duty rated for 18,000 pounds. Uh, pulling from the top. It's a two and a half inch uh, receiver hitch and it came with its hardware, brackets, etc. to install. It says it should be minimal to no drilling to install. So we'll see how that goes. So for the actual hitch, I went with a bulletproof hitch. Had the best ratings on Amazon, best ratings on multiple different forums they follow. Inside this uh, the box, it comes with pins, some anti-friction grease, some locking pins, the actual pitch. This thing's a solid piece of steel. Solid, solid. It's freaking heavy. It's welded. Two inches capable of 12,000 pounds. Two and five sixteenth inch is rated for twenty two thousand pounds. So that'll more than adequately pull anything that this truck is capable of pulling. Each hole is two inches, so we go from here to here to begin with. Go down is two inches. Go down two more inches. So it comes with a two inch ball and a two and five sixteenth inch ball. Two and five sixteen inch ball is going to be twenty two thousand pounds. Two inch ball is going to be rated at the fifteen thousand pounds. In lieu of regular pins, we're going to use locking pins, also from bulletproof hitches, and it comes with the same exact profile, same thing, the same manufacturer. Uh, but we're going to two of them are going to be locking. So I'll pull one into the hitch to hold it into the truck so that it can be pulled out <clears throat> and then one will go on to the uh, ball to lock the ball to the actual hitch um, I got these on Amazon and they also pair them so that the keys match for either one to make things a little easier all right so let's get this let's get the old one out so for the past several days, I've been coming out here a couple times a day and putting WD-40 to the bottom of the bolts and nuts and the tops of them. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the connector. Just going to put that to the side. Unfortunately, the new one does not come with a connector, but I'm going to see if I can just cut this off from the old hitch 
and then somehow uh, screw it on to the uh, the bumper or something to that sort. So when we get to that part, we'll figure it out. Same thing to the other side. We got the first bolt on here to the factory welded nut on the frame. There's one more in the back that we got to put on and that lines up with the hole that was already there. And then there's one more right here that comes with a, a bracket that they have and it goes into the third hole here. So it does sit a little lower. So I'll go ahead and measure this out. But the factory one butted up against the bumper so it does drop the hitch a little bit um, so that does affect the amount of drop or raise actually needed for the hitch so we're gonna go ahead and finish up the bolts let me see the silver piece goes on top yeah it goes around the top all right got it okay. This gonna be the easy part? <laughs> this is the easiest part. <laughs> Here we go. Let's 
Perfect. Thank you. Okay, how often do you have to apply it? Hmm. I never remember. Once a year? Once every couple months? No. It's not it's a lot nicer than our old restaurant. I cut off the plate that holds the uh, seven pin connector from the old hitch and made a 90 degree bend on it and then we just bolted its bottom of the bumper as you guys saw. Overall I'm pretty impressed. The only part that's difficult about the installation is just that it's heavy. If you have a, a second pair of hands that'd be great and I think this is going to do the job. It also acts like a nice uh, bumper. I've had two accidents already and uh, my previous hitch has saved me from any kind of damage, uh, so I'm sure this will do the same thing. If you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my video, and thanks for watching. Until next time, have fun, hope safe.